The Better Business Bureau says scams are on the rise during the pandemic, and a popular coffee shop in Medina County learned that the hard way. Jesse Schultz explains how a phone call cost the business thousands of dollars. What can I get for you? Cool Beans has been a staple in Medina's historic square for 10 years. An owner, Laura Parnell Cavey, says in all of her years, she's never had something like this happen to her. We just celebrated our 10th year anniversary last week. So happy birthday to me. A phone scam that her young employee fell victim to. I got a hysterical phone call from an employee who told me all of the money is gone in the entire store. So my first thought was, oh my gosh, we've been held up. A virtual holdup of sorts, a phone call that claimed Parnell Cavey was in jail over counterfeit bills. And the young employee was told the only way to get her out was to take out all of the cash from the store, buy cash cards, and pay them. They got her for a thousand and us for a couple thousand. A thousand dollars to a, a teenager is, is a a lot more detrimental than it is to somebody who's further along in life. And, and that doesn't mean to say it doesn't hurt. Police say there's really no way to trace the call. They'll have to eat the money. They know what they're doing. They use a burner phone, so the minute the scam's done, they break the phone, it's gone. There's no way to trace them. But she hopes in sharing her story, she can help others. Right. Anybody who ever wants something paid in a gift card or in a cash card is a scam. Immediately hang up. A tip she'll now use to train her other employees. These are not things that we think to tell our kids. But one she's disheartened by, especially during a pandemic. We're open, but it's not normal yet. Do you want any cream in here, hon? So we're still struggling to have this happen on top of it. It was just another kick in the teeth. And you know, it's 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 sickening. It really is. But at the at the end of the day, you know, nobody was in danger and money is recoverable. The Better Business Bureau says to avoid falling victim to a scam, don't answer any phone calls or texts from strange numbers. And if anyone is asking for your personal information, like your social security number or asking you to transfer money, hang up and do your research. For News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz.